Good morning beautiful people and welcome to Elona Beach in Boho in the Philippines. Today we are traveling to Sikiho. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. If I was pronouncing it the way it's spelled, it would be Sikujor, but apparently it's pronounced Sikijor or Sikijor. Anyway, we're going to another Anyway, we are going to another beautiful island in the Philippines, which we can't wait to explore. I've heard very good things about this island online. I've read very good things about this island online, so I'm super excited to go there. We have to get from where we are now in Alona Beach to Tagbalaran Port, which is about 30 to 40 minutes away. And then from there, we're jumping on a two-hour ferry, which will take us to Sikiho Pier. And then from there, it's another 20 minutes, probably in a tricycle, to our accommodation. Yeah, so, so far we still have a hotel, we're doing a bit of work. We are going to be checking out soon and then we'll hopefully make our way smoothly. We've had a very tough time getting here. a tough time getting here. It was really easy. It was just rainy. Back to being rainy. a baby. And if you didn't watch our last vlog where we explored the amazing island of Boho, click somewhere in one of these corners and yeah, go it's watch it. Really, really good. If you have a scooter, get out there and go explore. It's really highly recommended. Alright, let's go! drive from two days ago it's rain. Oh my god, it's now starting to pour. The joy of traveling, you know? Jacqueline volunteered to get a tuk tuk because she has a raincoat and I don't. What a champ. I think it's alright. Alright, off we go. You have a very nice tuk tuk, sir. <laughs> so we asked about how to get to the city port from our hostel boats. Basically, he said you can get a bus and you have to walk into this main part of town and just flag one down. They kind of come irregularly, there's no schedule. Um, but it can take up to two hours because sometimes they wait until they're full before they go and they stop along the way and it's just the whole thing. And then once we get to the bus stop, then we have to get a tricycle to the port anyhow. Um, or we can just get a tricycle directly from here to the port. It saves us a lot of time. It's Quite a bit more expensive, like double the price, but it's raining right now. We already got soaked trying to get here. Hopefully we can stay somewhat dry today. And yeah, we just want to um, not have like a rushed transit like we did the other day and just chill a little bit more. It's 400 pesos, so not too bad, not too expensive. Happy to pay that. I don't mind spending the extra 200 pesos because yeah. It was rough on the way here. It wasn't rough. It would have been fine. It's just the rain. The rain makes everything a lot hotter. Anyhow, let's go to the port. We found a place. It's very local, so hopefully that means good food and good prices. And hopefully it's open. And it's right here. Yeah. It looks open. I've got high hopes. Hello there. You okay? Perfect. Hello. 
so this place looks pretty good. There's a few locals around eating, which is always a good sign. And we both ordered their specialty. So I got the chicken and rice, and Max got the fried chicken and rice. So I'm assuming mine is barbecued because they do a lot of barbecue here. And we got this mango shake here. Oh yeah, it's basically just mango pureed with some ice. That is amazing. <laughs> and it was only 85 pesos for this. Max, we're not sharing. Get your own. <laughs> this looks so good. So I got the house chicken, which is barbecue chicken and fries. And it smells really good. Max got the crispy fried chicken. So let me give you a little taste test. That sauce they put on top, I don't know what it is, but it's amazing. Highly recommend. But they also put those mm, hash brown thing. Hot potato. Mm. Okay, so it's, it's not like lava anymore, but it's really yummy. Like, it's very tender. It's not too over, it's not too oily. Really good, and that sauce complemented very well. So mine was only 170 pesos or something, and Max was 225 pesos. So definitely, for the amount of food we got and the taste, very very good restaurant. You really gotta get into this stuff with your hands. Bit messy, but it's the best way. Woo, that was nice. We don't eat chicken very often, but when we do, we love it. That was really good. A really good meal. 478 pesos, so yeah. reasonable price, $12. So now, oh, look at this dark, looming cloud over there. So now we have half an hour to get our buttocks to the pier, which is down the road. So we have time to get a little waffy. There's a 7-Eleven up the road. Jacqueline has volunteered to go there so we don't have to drag our luggage up there. And then off we go. Sail away, sail away. Same love. And their coffee machine wasn't even working. No!
waves and sand and a beautiful sunset. I love it. Just gotta wait for our luggage. Ah, there it is. There is my luggage. So the plan now is to inquire about renting a scooter. We want to rent a scooter while we're here anyway and where we're staying is 20 minutes from this port. So it's probably going to be pretty uncomfortable with two small suitcases, two backpacks and two people. I don't know, do you feel confident? Looks like we're doing this. Mom, I'm sorry. Made it, guys. We just checked in, and the room we're paying 23 Australian dollars a night, and it's right on the beach. The room, of course, is very simple because we're only paying 23 dollars a night. You can't really expect much from that. Simple, affordable accommodation in a great location. The we just ordered some food from the um, restaurant here because it is getting a little bit late so we're just gonna have dinner here tonight maybe we'll explore somewhere else tomorrow it's a reasonable price we'll let you know how it tastes but for now we're gonna play a game of pool chill probably go to bed sorry guys this is about to become an adult scene get very pool. competitive <laughs> so we'll leave you here before we start fighting <laughs> thanks so much for watching bye, bye. But if you want, you can get a full pig at Margie's. That looks gross. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so close. Yes, so 